unlocking answers to your most sought after questions. What's in the Knowledge Vault today? Bleeding duration with a subchorionic hematoma can vary greatly among individuals, ranging from a few days to several weeks. The key is to follow closely with a healthcare provider for monitoring. Rest and minimal physical activity are often advised to manage symptoms and minimize risks. Each case is unique, so it's crucial to get personalized advice from a medical professional who can provide guidance based on your specific situation and health status. We've quenched today's curiosity, but there's always more to learn. Keep the curiosity alive by subscribing and joining us for our next adventure.